a good evening to you all and welcome to uh not just chief vlogs lake erie vlogger and uh as you can tell i'm out on the water and as of right now i'm actually on lake erie it's uh the 9th of september it's been a kind of a weird day uh just 24 hours ago uh her majesty queen elizabeth ii died and everything's kind of a little weird feeling so anyway hey what am i doing out on the water right now well um Tonight is the harvest moon. Uh, it's going to be a big full moon coming up over Buffalo, probably in about 30 minutes. The sun's just about to go down, hence why I'm looking the way I am right now. So I want to try and get out about, around Point Abino and see if I can actually capture any good images of the moon coming up, the moon being in the sky, because it's going to be really, really bright. Um, the brightest part of the moon is supposed to be around about... Um, like 4 a.m. but I'm not going to stay out until then so we're going to watch the moon rise which will be over there somewhere and then um, yeah we'll just wait around see how high it gets and it's meant to be very bright so we should be able to navigate quite well I do have my navigational lights with me they're in here uh, once that sun goes down I'll put them on uh, for safety reasons and for legal reasons so in the meantime we're just going to uh, shoot on out um, up towards the lighthouse so uh, yeah let's go I can't go too fast because uh, I got a big rig. That's my bigger rig. This is usually what's on that tripod right there, this camera. Uh, but I got my uh, other one on me right there. So you get to see these shots of everything behind me and the sun. And I can't get it wet. What a beautiful night. See, that's what I got on my camera. That's my rig right now. My microphone, my camera, uh, GoPro with the uh, my housing and battery pack on it. Look at the color through that lens. The blue, the orange, the auburn, back to blue. And we're expecting a moon rise just over there very shortly. That's Buffalo. Uh, there's the sun, that's Crystal Beach, and the boat, uh, the boat ramp's right behind me. So, uh, let's, uh, let's make our way out there. beautiful look at the colors behind me beautiful check that out that lighthouse looks fantastic there So I should be able to get the drone up. If my drone works, I've not really checked it for the last uh, <laughs> a couple of weeks. So we'll just get a spot away from the lighthouse and uh, on the other side of it, especially where the sun's reflecting, it'll look quite nice. Wow. Just quickly do a quick turn so you can see all around. All the colours. Into darkness this way. You've got the sun right behind me. How cool is that right now? That is spectacular. Just waiting for the moon to rise over there. Let's make it up the other side of this lighthouse here. Well, this sucks. Um, I went to get the drone up and going, 
uh, but the app keeps crashing. It's never done that before. I'm like trying to get it to go, and every time I click on the app, it just shuts itself back down again. So I'm just rebooting the phone, see what happens. Look at that. That's spectacular. Any second now, that moon should come up. <laughs> but I don't know where from. This is what happens when I press this app, by the way. And it just does that. Oh well. So we've got to look this way now and wait for the uh, moon to come up. Don't laugh at the glasses, believe it or not. These are those cheaper ones you get from Canadian Tire. Uh, but it makes everything look so much brighter. I mean, it's, it's probably lighting it up, but it's actually quite dark here now. The sun set like 15 minutes ago. When I put these on though, it's like fucking like really, really well right now. Maybe it's going yellow again. So it's going to move a bit further out to the lake. Navigational lights on. I'll just turn this one back off for a minute, save some battery. So we've got the one at the back. Uh, Sift these glasses up. Oh wow! Oh, wow! Look at that. That's the difference it makes. <laughs> wow! I could see as soon as I took them off. It's like blur. <laughs> really weird. All right. Look at the reds. That is like beautiful out here. So all I can presume is is a bit more cloud than expected over the US side. Uh, as you can tell right above me, there's not a cloud in the sky. Just a bit of haze on the horizon to the west and northwest. Uh, Point Abano Lighthouse right there, city of Buffalo. And uh, we're waiting for the moon to start coming up anytime soon. And that's what we're waiting for. So Oops, that is turned off. Yeah. So in the meantime, guess what I brought? As always, coffee. Oh, that's good. That's good, that's good. All right, just gonna sit here and wait. Put that on ready. I got spare batteries with me just in case. So, still waiting. So, what are we actually waiting for? We're waiting for a harvest moon. And no, Neil Young is not going to appear and start singing his album, uh, Harvest Moon, that is for sure. Now, Harvest Moon is the name of the moon. So, why is it called the Harvest Moon? Well, it's called the Harvest Moon because it's, uh, it's, the, fullest, it's the full moon closest to the autumnal equinox. Did I get that word right? Autumnal? Equinox. Yes. So, which is a time when farmers usually do all their harvesting. Hence, they gave it the term Harvest Moon. So, we're just waiting and it should come up over there. And it's meant to be a really eerie orange colour as it rises. But we... Oh, hang on. There it is. I can see it. I can see it right now. It's just coming up. It is just there on the horizon. All right. I've zoomed the camera right in. So, I don't know if he's going to pick it up. Because I'm looking through this lens right now. And uh, if I put this camera on <laughs> as well, like, it'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm looking through this little glass lens here. If you can see that, that's what I'm looking through. So I can see the moon clearly with my eye right now. Just coming up. It, it is an eerie orange moon, by the way. It really is. And it's just coming up over the horizon now, uh, over the hill there. Um, so I'm hoping the quality of this video is actually quite good. So I'm going to keep the camera on it for the time being and uh, see what we can see as we watch it rise. And we've got to try and keep it, the camera still. So other names for this full moon include the autumn moon, drying grass moon, falling leaves moon, 
yellow leaf moon, and even ice moon, uh, depending on the folklore that you may follow. Now, the best time to view this full moon, sadly, is around, around about four o'clock in the morning, which is when the moon is actually at its fullest. Uh, but unfortunately, I'll be in bed. So I'm just going to spin the camera around. Don't forget, it's on full zoom right now, the GoPro. So there's Point Abano in front of me. As I spin around to the sun, which set about 25 minutes ago, uh, that is looking towards Port Coburn. If I swing over this way, we're now looking over towards Erie, Pennsylvania. And I am not going to spin right round. <laughs> okay, uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, and then back over the coastline. And now we're back over uh, West Buffalo as that moon comes up. So very, very shortly, we're going to see it's, uh, the light come right across the lake, which tonight is going to be absolutely beautiful. The lake is like glass right now. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah, I chose a really good night and I'm just really lucky, I think. And after the, the day we've all had, the last couple of days with what's going on in the world, I think it's nice to just uh, get out on the water and uh, relax and see this. The earliest the harvest moon has actually been uh, risen in detail like this is September the 8th um, is the earliest it can occur and the latest is as late as October the 7th. So we're just technically tomorrow, which is the 10th, is the full moon, not today the 9th. It's just like I say, it's fullest in the morning of the 10th. Because this is just... Amazing, absolutely amazing. See, now I've turned the camera around. I don't know how that light looks on my face right now. It's a really, really calm lake. It's beautiful. All right, while we're waiting for the moon to fully come up so it illuminates the place, I just want to say hello to one of my subscribers who uh, left me a message on my last video, uh, Jimmy Flanagan uh, in Austin, Texas. Uh, to you and all the guys down there who are out on their sea dues as often as they can. Hi guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And hey, who knows, one day when I get to travel a bit more, I may be able to get down that, uh, that way one day. I'm still trying to get myself over to uh, the east coast of the states here, uh, New England area, and uh, maybe down to the Carolinas. I'm even hoping maybe in the spring I might get down to the Carolinas and take my ski into the ocean for the first time. So anyway, so there you have it. Jimmy Flanagan and everyone else in Texas. Hey guys. Peace and quiet.
I just put in my uh, destination so I can follow this in case it gets too dark. Because if you look that way, it's nice. But if you turn that way, it's pitch black. You know, I'm, I'm literally sat. It's just how the ski is actually going. So just to my right, that's southwest. And I'll be southeast to my left. So I must be directly facing south. I have no idea how that looks on me. But it's getting eerily, eerily, eerie on Lake Erie right now. Uh, 8.20. We're only a few minutes away from total darkness. And the only thing illuminating me right now is the glow in the very, well, this, the glow over there, and the glow of the moon as we uh, start to make our way uh, back closer towards, uh, to land. I just bumped the exposure up a little bit, see if it makes any difference. Uh, I had it set as max at 800. I've now bumped it up to 1600, because I don't want to go too, uh, too bright, because it goes all grainy. So we'll see how that is. But oh my God, the bugs are out everywhere. Mosquitoes, I thought we got rid of them. Early fall mosquitoes. Bugs. Bugs everywhere. Fucking hell, they're like really bad tonight. It's like middle of summer again. That's a cool light on that boat. I like that. My alarm. Look at that, that's cool. Lighting up the water like that. Ah, oh, I'm enjoying that. Now I can't see a thing. Because that fucking guy's got headlights on. <laughs> All right. All right, back on land. That's it. Uh, time to go home. All right, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please make sure you like, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos still to come. We've still got a couple more months left of the season. I'm going to try and keep going right up until December this year. So uh, keep tuned.